Another important circuit that is used in instrumentation is the Wheatstone Bridge. What is a Wheatstone Bridge? It's basically two arms. This is the first arm composed of two resistors in series, R1 and R2. And then a second arm, which is composed of two resistors in series, R3 and R2. R4 and then we will have here a voltage supply so we have to supply energy for this Whitstone bridge to, to work so what is going on here basically one of those or more of those resistors will be a sensor and that sensor its resistance will be will be changing due to a change in a physical phenomena temperature stress displacement and so on and so forth and i want to convert that change in this resistance into a change in the in the voltage now the western bridge works in two different modes one we call it the balance mode the balance mode when r1 over r2 is equal to r3 over r4 then the voltage between point c and point d is equal to zero there is another mode, we'll come to it in the next video, which is the unbalanced mode when the resistors are changing their values. Now, how we can go from this, if R1 over R2 equal to R3 equal over R4, this will lead the voltage equal to zero. There, there is a derivation for that. I will keep the link in the video description. You can go there and you can see the mathematical derivation for this. Okay, now let's uh, do some demonstration. I have here a circuit with R1 and R2 both equal to 1 kilo ohm, R3 and R4 both equal to 330 ohms. So the ratio is equal to 1 and I have the voltage equal to 10 volt. So here is my, my uh, circuit. So this is my R1 and R2. And this is my R3 and I R4. And the voltage is connected between this point and the, the ground. And it is 10 volt. So now let's come here and measure the, the voltage uh, between C and D. So this will be point C. And this will be point D. So the voltage here, just a second, is equal to point 0.4. 0.3 millivolt so it's almost zero zero volt 